Hello, in this visualization, I am going to the coffee shop with my Bible. This is Brooklyn Hannah. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. So here I go. It's a beautiful morning, about 7 a.m., 7.06 to be exact. I grab my Bible. I've got my Bible in one hand. It's black and brown. And I've got my highlighters on the other hand. I just love to highlight as I read my Bible. And I'm walking to the coffee shop. The coffee shop is called Cabin Coffee. And it's this coziest little place not too far from where I live. So I walk downstairs from my bedroom. I can feel my feet against the carpet. I walk down the steps. The steps are cold under my feet. And I walk and I grab my purse. It's this beautiful little blue purse. I just wrap it around my shoulders. And here I go, I'm ready. I walk over and I also put my shoes on. I've got my socks and my shoes. My socks are bright yellow. They're under armor and I just put them on. Mm, my feet were kind of cold, so that kind of feels good. I put my tennis shoes on, they're so comfortable, and I walk out the door on this beautiful summer day. It's so warm, it's like 78 degrees in the morning. It's gonna be a hot day, like 85 degrees today. And as I walk towards the coffee shop, I look all around me and I just look at the beautiful nature. I can see the beautiful green trees above me, on both sides of me. There's a road to the left and I can hear traffic just driving by. I wave at people because I'm so joyful, happy, and friendly. And to the right, there's houses right on the lake. There's little cute cabins that look like a little lake cabin. There's bigger ones that were freshly and newly built. And I'm just watching and people watching, looking at people. There's some people in their yards. Looks like they're watering some flowers. And I just wave. And I'm walking towards downtown. I don't live too far away where there's a park. There's some restaurants. And of course, this cute little coffee shop. I'm walking around the lake, right next to the lake. And I see a big long dock. It's L-shaped. And I'm just quiet because I can see some people fishing. They're fishing off the dock. And I see they have a big bucket. And I go, hmm, I wonder if they have some fish in there. So I look out and there's a few fishing boats out there. Wow, the water's just beautiful. It's so calm. It looks like glass. I bet I could see my reflection in the water. I walk by this beach area. There's some people just walking the beach. There's some little kids playing in the sand. It's such a gorgeous walk to the coffee shop. Over to the right, I look and there's this little splash pad where kids are playing. And I look at my phone and I go, wow, it's only like 7.13. I can't believe they're already splashing around out there. Ooh, that must be cold. I just look at, around and I thank God for this beautiful day. So gorgeous, and I'm just thanking him for the small things, the little blessings in my life, the big blessings in my life, such as my family, just the ability to walk on my two feet, to be able to see this gorgeous nature. I can just smell the, fresh, the freshness of the air, the crispness of the air as I walk along. And to the left, I see a park and those kids that are just hopping and jumping and playing. And, oh, I remember those days when I was little. They've got smiles on their faces. Their eyes are so bright. And to walk by this little area where I go to church. I go to church outside and it's called Church in the Park. And they've got all these green benches that are just sitting in the grass. And I'm so excited because I get to go there tomorrow. I always sit in this little corner with my family. Ah, I just picture myself raising my hands up to the Lord, praising him Sunday after Sunday in Clear Lake. So gorgeous. And I love it. I just love the opportunity I have to seek the Lord and get to know him more and be in an amazing church community. All outside in God's beautiful nature. So I'm walking up towards the coffee shop and I walk by a couple of my favorite restaurants. I walk by Cookies Etc. Oh, I just love that place. They have the best cookies ever. 
they got chocolate chip ones, they've got frosted ones, and I can just smell it as I walk by. People are walking out, and I even have little cinnamon rolls, and I go, ooh, hoo, hoo. I might have to get something tasty at Cabin Coffee. So I keep walking, I look left, and it's one of my favorite pizza places, one of my favorite Mexican places called Cancun. None of those places are open yet. They can see the managers in there wiping down tables and preparing for it to open in a few hours. It just gets so busy downtown, but it's just the coziest little town. And in the winter, we have little Christmas festivals. In the summer, they have things going on, art in the park, and just all kinds of things going on in the park. So finally, I walk over towards Cabin Coffee, and as I approach, I can just smell the coffee. It smells so good. And some guy just opens the door for me, and I nod, and I go, thank you, appreciate that. And I walk on in, I say, have a good day. I'm just always looking to start conversations and to have a good time. I still have got my Bible in my hand, and I'm ready for my morning with Jesus. So I stand in line, and I'm waiting to get coffee. There's kind of a little long line, but I'm just super patient. I love to practice the fruit of the Spirit, patience. And as I look up at the menu, it's really cool. The menu is this big chalkboard. And there's all these different colors. Every menu item is in a different color, it looks like. And I go, wow, look at God's beautiful colors that he created. I can't even imagine the colors there's going to be in heaven. And they have frappes. They have warm little steamers. They have all kinds of things. And I go, hmm, what am I craving? And I just go with whatever my gut feeling is, because whenever I go with my gut feeling, I'm usually never disappointed. And as I walk up to the register, there's this friendly gal, and she's got these big glasses on, and she goes, hello, good morning, I hope you're having a blessed morning, and I go, you too, I have many blessings in my life, thank you to the Lord. And she goes, ah, you're right, a lot of Christians work in this coffee shop, because the owner is a Christian himself, and they're just so bubbly and giggly, and their energy is just so positive and contagious. I love it. I just love surrounding myself with other positive people. She goes, what can I get you? And I go, well, what do you recommend this morning? She goes, well, I know this is usually a winter drink, but I love the peppermint mocha. And if you are a fan of mint, I highly recommend it. She goes, you, I go, you read my mind. I love mint. I'm the one that always gets the mint chip ice cream. She goes, okay, well, you're going to love that. I recommend getting a Frappuccino, um, also known as a Frappe, and I go, perfect. And she goes, what size would you like? And I go, I'll, I'll take the medium size. She goes, all righty, coming right up, and she's typing it in her computer, and I just love to compliment people, so I go, I love your glasses. Where did you get those? And she goes, actually, I got them at Zenny. It's this really cool online store. They're very reasonable. I go, really cool. I'm going to have to check that out. And she goes, yeah do it. You won't regret it. There's just so many options. And I go, well, thank you so much. And there's this little tip jar. And I put a $10 bill in the tip jar because I just love to give to people. And that just feels so good. So I walk on over and then I go, oh, oh wait, I kind of wanted to get something to eat. I totally forgot. She goes, oh, no problem. There's nobody behind me now. And she goes, what can I get you? We have really good sandwiches. We have the best cinnamon rolls. And I go, I look and I see the cinnamon rolls on this little shelf. And I go, I'll take one of those cinnamon rolls. I'm, I'm kind of a sweets gal. And she goes, all right, you're going to be loving that then. She goes, just let me put it in the microwave. I'll warm it up for you and then I'll deliver it to you. Then I go, all right, thank you. And so I just walk past the counter, and I can hear all the blenders just blending frappuccinos, and they're pretty busy. And they're just pushing them out. I can hear them yelling names, Nick. And all these names are being yelled, and people are walking up with excitement to grab their drinks. Mine probably won't be ready for a little bit, so I've got my ticket. It says number 17. And I go, hmm, I kind of like that number. I love any number that has a seven in it. And so I grab that and I just walk over and there's these little benches. But they're comfortable benches. They're padded. Wow, that looks 
so relaxing. So I walk over to this bench and it's right by this fireplace and it's summertime so it's not going but I'm going mmm I've got to come back here in the winter. That just looks amazing to sit by the fireplace to drink some coffee in the winter and I'm already thinking about Christmas by the lake. They have a parade out there and I'm gonna come back here and get coffee then too. So I sit here and I am just so excited to read the Bible. I've been praying about a new desire, a deep desire, a strong desire to read the Bible every day and to get to know the Lord. And for this, I'm so excited because God has just put a spark in me. I just can't wait to open those pages and see what's new for me today, to see how God is going to speak to me, to show me just more about him. So I grab my highlighters and I've got every color you can think about. It's in this little pouch. I just have a fun time highlighting different things in the Bible. And I grab the blue highlighter. It's this light blue. Oh, that reminds me of the color of the sky. I grab that highlighter and I start highlighting. I can already see a verse that jumps out at me as I highlight it. It's in Philippians about not being anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything. And I read that, and I just let that soak into my heart. And I go, anything? Oh, come on, Lord. Sometimes it seems like there's so much to be fearful of, to wonder why, to be anxious of. But he says, don't be anxious about anything. Wow, that right there, those few words are so powerful. And I have decided I'm going to put this to practice today nothing. As I'm reading the Bible, I kind of pray to myself going, Lord, sometimes I don't even realize that I'm anxious about certain things. Show me, God, reveal to me and show me what I need to change, what I need to give to you and put total trust in you with. I'm just reading the commentaries and talking about how to apply it to your life and how you truly don't have to worry about a thing because everything's under his control. As long as we're being obedient, the Lord is just working behind the scenes for our good. And I can be in total rest and peace, knowing that he's on my side, that I have a final destination and it's eternal life with him. I have hope. I have peace and joy right now. Yep, my life isn't perfect in the physical world because we live in a fallen world, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I accept where I'm at, Lord. I always want to improve spiritually, but Lord, take my heart. And I'm just kind of praying and talking to the Lord as I'm reading through these scriptures. And all of a sudden I hear my name, Brooke. I hop up, I go, that's me. And she goes, oh, oh, you sit down. Yeah, you've been reading the Bible. I've been, I've been watching you. I love that. You just sit down and I'm going to deliver it to you. And I go, wow, okay. So I sit back down into my comfy couch. And here she comes around the corner. And she's got my frappe and my cinnamon roll. I go, wow, there's frosting all over the cinnamon roll. It's just covered with this delicious sweet frosting. I take my finger and I can't help but taste the frosting. I go, oh, that frosting though. I just had to. She goes, yep, it's amazing. We home make it. Enjoy. And she kind of pats my back. I go, thank you. And I say a quick prayer. I go, Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Just bless the rest of this day. Bless the people who are coming to eat here as well. Lord God, I need you today. I need to depend on you, God. Thank you for all things in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. And I take a bite of the salmon roll, and oh, it's so gooey, it's soft, it's warm, it's amazing. And I take a drink, a drink of my peppermint mocha, and oh, it's just such a great combination. I can taste the little ice chunks, you can taste the mint, it's nice and mild, but it's delicious. As it goes down my throat, it's nice and cool. Oh, it's so refreshing because it's nice and warm outside, but I've got this mixture. And I got this cool drink with the warm cinnamon roll. And I just have this energy. I just want to giggle. And it's like I'm just in the spirit. And the Holy Spirit is just reviving my day, re just making me feel so alive right now. 
for this moment. I'm so, so thankful. Okay, so that's the end of the visualization. Comment down below helpful if you found this helpful. Thank you.